and Caesar. There's been some highs. There's been some lows. There's been some what the fucks. But what we're going to talk about right now is the ties. So I want to get into my favorite sneaker picks up, pickups for 2021. So let's get into this video. Welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Felicia here with another video. If you are new to my channel, I do sneaker reviews, I do how to styles, and I also do product reviews and hauls for beauty. So if you're into those things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment. Now, like I said, we are about to get into some of my, my, me. This is my opinion, my pickups, what I like. Okay, this is not no top 10, top 20, top 5, or 220, 2021. These are my top pickups for 2021 in regards to sneakers. So they're not in no particular order. And since I'm looking at them and they were one of my faves, I'm going to go ahead and grab them. And that is these Jordan. And that is these Jordan 1 Lows in the reverse bread. I want to say these are probably almost one of my favorite pickups for 2021. As you can see, I have worn these suckers. Now, I did get these off StockX, but I think resale, they're like, retail, they're like $75. If you go on the finish line or something like that, you can find them. I paid 100 bucks on StockX, but yeah, these are one of my favorites. I feel like one... One, they go with everything. That's why I like them. They're easy to style. These was my first Jordan 1 Lows. At first, I, was, I wasn't really feeling the Jordan 1 Low. But once I got it and I wore it, I really like it. It's a clean, sleek shoe. And it's easy to style, like I said. So that's another reason why I like them. And this colorway, you just can't go wrong with a red and black or a bread colorway so that is also another reason why i like them i don't really feel like i need to go into the specs but this is what this shoe looks like so yeah this was one of my favorites that i picked up in 2021 another one of my favorites for 2021 was the electric green jordan 6 these were my first jordan sixes and so i was excited about that i love the way these look on my feet these are super comfortable and yeah and i just like the way that this shoe is styled i like this um electric green pull tab i love the tongue on here i did take the little pull strings off and unfortunately i got one in one room and the other one around here somewhere it's in this house i ain't losing my side but they in this house I love the new buck around here. I love everything. I love the sole and everything. And like I said, these shoes are comfortable. I did pick mine up at retail way after they were released. I believe these released in June. I got mine around October. And I was able to get them at the Nike, um, the Nike outlet. Even though they was regular price, I was still happy to grab these and add these to my sneaker collection. My Jordan 3 Midnight Gray, I think that's what they was called. I know they was like the Midnight Jordan 3s or whatever. This is another one of my favorite pickups for 2021. One, the Jordan 3s just have um, a sentimental place in my heart. These were the first Jordans, not this particular one, but the Jordan 3s were the first Jordans that my dad bought me they were like the first sneaker that he ever bought me and that was back in like maybe 86 87 yeah maybe 86 or 87 i know i was like in fourth or fifth grade when he got these for me but yeah we hung out that day we got the shoes he took me to pizza hut don't judge and then we went to go see who framed roger rabbit and the ones that i got then were the um black ones with the cement or the elephant i think it was the cement anyway anyway these that's why i love jordan threes and so when these were coming out i was like i gotta have them 
I love them. I wasn't going to pay retail or resale for like the black ones, the original kind that he got me, but I am happy that I got these. I love wearing these shoes. Comf comfortable. Hmm, I could have got them like a little size, a half size bigger, but I still, I've broken them in and I love wearing these. This is another shoe that's easy to style. It's not really bulky. And yeah, I, I these I put these bad boys on. I love them. I love to wear them, and I'm glad I grabbed these. One of my most anticipated shoe, or one shoe that I really had to have this year, was the Jordan Four Shimmers. When I saw these on the pictures, I was like, "Yep, these gotta come home to Mama." And so yeah, when they came out the day that they was released. I was ready. I was all set. And of course, all the other retailers I lost on. But I did win these on a raffle with Sussex Shoe Store in Chicago. And they are a black-owned shoe store. I did win the raffle. I got to pick them up the same day as the release. And found out that they had been sitting in the store forever. So I could have been had them. That's neither here or there. But I grabbed them and I absolutely love these shoes. This is probably, again, another pickup. And I'm just so happy that I, you know, I'm proud that I, this was a shoe that I am, I waited for, I prepared for, and I was able to get because it's, it's kind of heartbreaking or it's, it's disappointing when you plan to get a shoe and then on a the day of release, it sell out like that online and you can't get your hands on it. It kind of sucks. So I'm glad that I was able to get these after waiting for months. I had been eyeing these bad boys for months. So I was glad to be able to get them and have them in my collection if you will um yeah super comfortable as far as styling goes you do have to know how to style them they are a little bulky so certain things you have to know what to wear but i feel like this colorway and just this this whole i love the colorway of the shoe more than anything i think it's feminine it's girly it's cool it's cute it's giving so i really like it and yeah so that was like, this was probably like my biggest uh, pickup for 2021, if you want to, if I could be honest. And the fact that I got them on release day at re retail price is also great as well. So that's why I really like those. Next, this was another shoe that was highly anticipated. I saw that this shoe was coming out toward the end of the year. And I was like, yeah, uh, I'm going to need this shoe. And that is... The Jordan 1 High OG Handcraft. Yes, I was like, yeah, I got to add these to my collection. Even my sister, who loves sneakers as much as I do, was like, yeah, this is you. This has your name written all over it. So I had to get it. I did have to pay resale for these, but I didn't pay a crazy resale price. So I'm not mad at that, but super glad to have these in my collection. So yeah. They, I mean, just look at it. Look, it's the shoestrings for me. It's the two-tone shoestrings for me. It's the shoestrings. It's the 3M. It's the colorway. It's the materials and the textures of this shoe. It's just everything. It's just everything about this shoe. Like, I'm so glad I have it. I'm so, so super glad that I have it. So, with these, these are the Nike um, Bo Jacksons, or as they are called on the box, the Air Trainer SC High, but I know these as Bo J Jacksons, and I had to add these to my collection this year. I've always wanted Bo Jacksons, and when I saw that Nike had released them again, I hurried up and scurried on over to the Nike uh, app and grabbed these shoes. So yeah, I'm just glad to have these in my collection because this is a shoe that I always wanted. It's an old school Nike. They were real popular like in the 90s or maybe the late 90s, early 2000s or somewhere around that time. And so I had to have them in this blue and gray colorway. Another shoe that's easy to style. It looks good on and it's comfortable. So yeah, I'm glad I caught these and I'm glad to say that I have a pair of Bo Jacksons in my collection. Bonus shoes. I add these because one, 
so we're just gonna get into it so this shoe is the nike waffle one i added this shoe because i actually won this shoe in a um raffle a giveaway it was a giveaway i won this shoe in a giveaway with forever patrick denise my soul sister yeah so she was doing a giveaway and i actually won i did everything that she asked that you do like her page like her um like her youtube channel like her instagram page share all that stuff which i do anyway and i won the sneaker so i'm adding these two because i feel like this is another sentimental shoe for me i won it and me and her have never met but that's my soul sister that's my girl we support each other and this whole content creating thing this whole black women sneakerhead thing so i just wanted to give her a shout out and tell her again thank you for these shoes and then the other shoe is my adidas candy verse and i'm adding these because one I hadn't had Adidas and I don't know how long. I saw these. I love the colors in these. Look at that. Let's catch up. Get that field view. I love the color and the texture and everything that was going on with these shoes. So I added these to my collection and I'm glad I did. They are different. They stand out from what I usually wear, but I grabbed them. I had to kind of dig for these because they was kind of hard to find, but I'm glad that I have them. I'm glad they're in my collection. And yeah. So those are all my favorite pickups for 2021. They were in no particular order. They were in no rating. I just saw shoes I grabbed and those were shoes that I liked. I pick up shoes for sentimental reasons or shoes because I just really like the style and how they're made. Going forward, let's talk about 2022. So in 2022, I do plan to be more intentional with the shoes I buy. As I look back, I think I did really well this year with my sneaker pickups, but I just want to take it up a notch. And so that means I want to be more intentional with the shoes that I buy. I'm not going to stay away from new releases because of the whole box and all that. If I have to save an extra coin, and add some money to that shoe and get it on resale i will if i really like that shoe um it's just more being more intentional plan, having better planning with purchasing my shoes and also when i purchase my shoes i'm looking to see if they're gonna go with everything that i have in my closet am i gonna wear them um Will I be able to style them easily without having to go out and buy a whole bunch of new clothes? I want to be able to add the shoe to my wardrobe, not have to add a wardrobe around my shoe, if that makes sense. And I want to make sure that I'm wearing my shoe, that this is a shoe that I'm going to pick up and that I am going to wear regularly. Um, like I said, I do feel like I did pretty well this year with buying some shoes. There were a couple of shoes that I got that was an impulse buy so i don't want to do that in 2022 um and i want to have shoes that i'm actually wearing i buy my sneakers to wear and i do like to have nice sneakers that i wear i like trendy and style sneakers that i wear and i don't like to just have my sneakers sitting in boxes collecting dust which i do have a few shoes that's like that that i haven't even i barely picked up this year but those was from um 2020s purchases so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments which ones was your favorites if you picked up any of these sneakers let me know in the comments was it some ones that you wanted that you couldn't get let me know let's talk let's have some sneaker talk in the comments and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye